When a spinning object moves through a fluid, the rotation disturbs the fluid's motion around the object, resulting in a phenomenon known as the Magnus effect. To better understand this effect, consider these examples. Have you ever watched a penalty shootout or a free kick during a soccer match? If you closely observe the ball as a player kicks it towards the goal, you might notice that some players impart a spin to the ball. This spin causes the ball to curve through the air, instead of maintaining a straight path towards the goalpost. Similarly, in a cricket match, certain fast bowlers can release the ball in a way that changes its trajectory as it travels through the air, before reaching the batter. In cricket terminology, this is referred to as swinging the ball. But how does a ball change direction in midair without touching the ground? The Magnus effect explains this phenomenon. Named after German physicist Gustav Magnus, the Magnus effect occurs when a spinning object moves through a fluid, with air being the fluid in this case. The Magnus effect describes how air behaves around a spinning object as it travels. Take the example of a soccer ball. When a spinning ball flies through the air, one side of the ball moves in the same direction as the airflow, while the other side moves against it. The side going with the airflow pulls the air along its surface due to friction. This alignment increases the speed of the air on this side. Conversely, on the side of the ball that moves against the airflow, the speed of the air is reduced. According to Bernoulli's principle, an increase in air speed results in lower air pressure, while the side with the slower air movement has higher air pressure. The contrast in air pressure around the two sides of the ball causes it to move toward the side with lower pressure, making a curve or veer off a straight path while airborne. Seasoned soccer players often use the Magnus effect to their advantage. By kicking the ball with spin, they can make it appear to travel in one direction, but then curve its trajectory to land in a different spot. Mastering the right amount of spin is an art that requires extensive practice. The shape and design of a ball can significantly influence its behavior once it's airborne. For instance, there was a notable controversy during the 2010 FIFA World Cup regarding the official soccer ball. Its designers intended for it to be more aerodynamic, which unexpectedly made it difficult for some of the world's best soccer players to predict its trajectory in the air. The surface of the ball was textured similarly to that of a golf ball, resulting in a product that became one of soccer's most infamous controversies. The concept of spinning a ball for advantage in a match is not exclusive to soccer. The Magnus effect is also widely used by pitchers and bowlers in baseball and cricket, respectively. They impart spin on the ball to create a bending path, making it more challenging for the batter to make contact. The Magnus effect also isn't limited to sports. Pilots of small aircraft often have to account for it when flying through strong crosswinds. There are also devices called Flettner rotors, which consist of cylindrical rotating surfaces. These devices harness the Magnus effect to generate forces that aid in propulsion and stability on both ships and aircraft. So, the next time you see your favorite soccer star score a goal by curving the ball into the corner of the goal, remember that you're witnessing one of nature's fascinating tricks, mastered through hard work and practice.